Hi everyone, happy International Women's Day! Yay. So if you happen to be new to this YouTube channel, my name is Ekram and I am a second year electronics engineer, a student in the UK. And this YouTube channel I usually post videos about uni related stuff, makeup, travel and anything that I'm interested in. So if you happen to be interested, consider subscribing. It's International Women's Day today, so uh, this video is going to be about it. Not actually that, but like about the misconceptions of International Women's Day because I've met few people who do not know the actual concept of International Women's Day or they have this misconception about it. So that's what we'll be talking about. And also by the end of this video, I will tell you about two women that inspire me. If you don't know them, that means you'll get two more people to look up to or at least to, you know, get inspired of. So yes, let's get into the video. So let's begin with what is International Women's Day? International Women's Day is a global day that celebrates economical, cultural, political, social achievements of women. It is aimed to help nations fight discrimination against women and gender inequality. UN started celebrating International Women's Day in 1975, so it has been around 45 years. And still, there are some misconceptions about uh, International Women's Day and that's why we are here to talk about these misconceptions. The first common misconception, the International Women's Day is only for women. So this is so wrong because this is the day that should be celebrated. It's not actually one day that you celebrate and then just forget about it, but it's, it's not only for women, it is it should be a day that is celebrated and acknowledged by people, by everyone who believes in equality. It doesn't matter whether you are a male or female or it's not about that. Uh, there are around like 131 million girls who are not getting education at the moment. But this should not be only the problem of girls. It is about like every person who believes in equality that should be concerned about this. For example, it's obvious that men have privilege in this world. I believe that they should be using their privilege to promote this equality if they believe in equality to begin with. I hope it would be fine to share this story with you. Um, my friend told me a story about her mother when we were like in elementary school. Her mother is not from this kind of society where women, especially at that time, pursue higher education but she really was interested in studying further and becoming a medical doctor but uh, at that time she was married and her husband as well as the society don't support women in studying further just like you know you're married now nothing happens after this you're done being educated you're not going any further after this she is from that type of society so her her rights to education was limited to that point but her father luckily he really believed in education despite all this inequality and in the society he managed to send her abroad and she became a medical doctor after all after many years passed they've got like you know their children now uh, they had to move to europe and during that time since uh, the mother who is educated and experienced, she's a qualified doctor, she was the one who was able to get a job. During that time, she was the one able to provide for the whole family, including the husband. So I'm just, this is just like, you know, a simple example. Her father had this privilege of being heard. So he used his privilege to help her get education that's how she happened to be providing for the whole family in addition to the help that she provides people by just you know being there and providing service at this point this example might be like really unrelatable for a lot of you that watch this video but I just wanted to bring this example of having the privilege and using this privilege to promote gender equality so the second a misconception. There are people who believe that we have already reached gender equality. 
which is also wrong. It's wrong because we have not. Let's consider the Nordic countries, Norway, Finland, Sweden. Even there, there is a wage gap between men and women. And also they lag behind, women lag behind in owning companies, in payment and in management. So yes, we still have a long way to go, even in the Nordic countries where equality of women have reached its peak compared to other countries, okay? Like here I'm not trying to, you know, you know, dismiss all the way that these countries have come, but I'm just saying if these countries are exceptions, they have gone they have gone really close to getting gender equality, but they still have some problems. I just wanna put it out there. Moving to the third misconception, you know, this is on the women's side. They will be like, I'm treated equally as men, why should I bother? This is one thing to remember. It's not about individuals it's not about individuals we're thinking about like globally in the world at this point women get 23 percent low wage than men for the same job where i'm talking about like globally women make around 24 percent of the parliament seats globally one in three women experience physical or sexual violence so this is what we're talking about when we're talking about like gender inequality. We're not talking about one person, we're talking about this global issues that we have when it comes to gender inequality. And yeah, actually this brings me to the topic of inclusive gender equality. You know, a lot of people think that uh, when it's like gender equality, um, they like you know equating men and women but actually it's it has even deeper roots than that it is also equality between women of different races and religion we are not focusing on how minority women are being discriminated so let's have that in the equation as well it's not just about equating men with women but also between women and different races and different religion so we've got to keep that in mind so these are i think well few of the main misconceptions that people have about international women day now i'm gonna tell you about the two women that actually inspire me so much i love them so much one of them are loviette i don't know if you guys know her she is an afro swede she's based in sweden she fights for equality and inclusivity follow her on instagram and yes so if you don't know her yes i'm giving it to you my inspiration she will as well inspire you so the other person is chimamanda adichie if you don't know her, she's a Nigerian author and I love her books. She's got different books, uh, Half of a Yellow Sun is one of them. I started reading her book first because I got, I got it as a gift from my teachers when I was in elementary school. So that's when I started um, reading her books. But she's got this really good understanding and uh, descriptions about gender equality and feminism so if you don't know her yes now you know her and now you can just you know have another person in your list that will inspire you yes that's it for today i hope you enjoy this video again happy international women's day and yes thank you for watching